it was under your leadership that when you disagreed with people in Marikana, you killed them. Because you never believed in peaceful resolution of differences. When people had problems in Relela, you killed them. When people had problems in Mututlung demanding water, you killed them. When Tatani protested against this state, you killed him. When there were differences not so long ago in this parliament, you applied violence against the leadership of the EFF. Mr. President, you taught our people that everything else must be resolved through violence. And therefore, you must take full responsibility for having misled our nation that peaceful resolution does not exist and that those who do not listen, they must be whipped into line. You have lost control of the country because you have lost control of your own family. Your own son continues to say these people must be killed. You stand up here and you do not say anything. The King Zoelettini has been misinterpreted as he says. We accept that explanation. But you do not take a platform to ask the king to call upon the people of KwaZulu-Natal and everywhere else, particularly those who could have misunderstood him, to refuse to engage in violent activities. I must never be misinterpreted to be saying the king is responsible for that. How can you rule the country when you cannot rule over your own family and your son is such a typical example of a family member that you cannot whip into line? We have a responsibility from these incidences of xenophobia to teach our people that peaceful resolution is a sustainable solution to every problems we have. Mr. President, you come here, you want to condemn violence against xenophobia. But the Cubans have taught us that body language speaks volume than prepared speech. You come with a prepared speech, your body doesn't suggest any other leader who's concerned about the killings in, uh, in, in KwaZulu-Natal. But when you were defending the spending in Nkanda, your body language was very strong than when you were condemning the violent remember, activities in Uganda. Fellow South Africans, we need each other. Let us not kill each other. There is no remember, country in Africa that is can survive in isolation. Not even the USA can survive in isolation. We need each other, South Africans. Let us not kill fellow Africans. Honorable we Malema, are one your thing. Time has expired. Africa is one. We must refuse the artificial borders imposed on us Malema, by colonizers which have led to the division of Africa. Africa, we are one.